Hey, welcome back to ZK Master Tech. If you're new to the channel, I'm Zeth. You know, if someone were to ask me what's my most important tool, I couldn't tell them it's just one. So I think I'm gonna do a series on what tools I think that I couldn't live without, you know, being a combine technician, large tractors, stuff like that. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about today is impact swivels. Impact swivels is one of the most important tools it takes to do my job. These things save a lot of time. I can be fast with these. I can trust them. And I have a variety of impact swivels. I have Snap-on, Gear Wrench, Sun X, you know, whatever it takes to get the job done. Um, I kind of got all different sizes and flavors of these impact sockets. And I'm going to show you the importance of these sockets. Here we have the Gear Inch X Core Pinless Universal Joint Extensions. Uh, I got a three piece set here. Got it from Amazon for I think 65 bucks. So that's a pretty good value for those. You can also get them with uh, socket heads on the end of them. And you can see their X Core, they have four points of contact and they don't have a pin. So that's why they're called pinless. Um, you can also get uh, X Core swivel sockets, just your standard, standard swivel sockets as well. The Gear Inch. X-Core impact extension. Works really good for these mid four wear strips. Look at that balances. Had to get a shorter one to get into this mid four wear strip. Zips it loose, no problem. All right. New mid four wear strip installed. See the old one is getting pretty wore. We generally replace these every year or every other year, just depends on how much they wore. But that's the only thing keeping the chain from rubbing into this mid-floor frame. bars piece of the bar still stuck on there but we got to replace this support okay we got the support out of the feed accelerator see this is our new bar here now we got to get the bolts out of these bars get these we're going to save these two bars here so we just need to get all the bolts out so we can mount those bars to here and get another bar, new bar here with two new bolts. Like about this impact socket, fits right through this hole just perfectly. So we've got our new strip here. We've got all our bolts started. Now we're gonna hammer them down.
We got a broken bolt in the speed accelerator. I didn't realize it was there. There's too much dirt in the way. We're gonna have to pull this back out, extract that broken bolt. Wonderful. see what we're working with here just, just taking some brake clean to clean the hole out real good so I can see what I'm working with here oh yeah we're gonna have to extract that out I'm just gonna drill a hole through it and try to shove a snap-on screw extractor in it and see if it'll turn hopefully it's not stuck in there. I'm probably going to soak it down with some penetrating oil too. Good old PB. It's no seafoam deep creep, but it gets the job done in a pinch. Got an automatic centering punch here. Yeah, I get into my rigid boxes here. I'm probably going to need that guy. Got some left-handed drill bits. Give that a whirl. All right, this bolt didn't break off flush. It's kind of rounded. So I'm gonna try to use an automatic centering punch to get a center spot for a drill bit. It's not terrible. Just gonna do it a couple times. Let's get a left-handed drill bit in there and maybe we'll get lucky the drill bit will catch it and spin it out okay well i used a cobalt 5 30 seconds snap on left-handed drill bit and it was hard to get it drilled center just because the shape of the bolt was angled so it was one that my drill bit was one to drip but i did get a good enough spot where the drill bit caught good enough to where i caught the the bolt spun a revolution so I'm going to step it up and put a maybe a quarter inch left-handed bit to grab in that hole and hopefully it'll spin it out. Okay, got my quarter inch left-handed drill bit in there. And what that'll do is it'll grab the little hole that I made a lot harder and it'll use that torque to turn the bolt. So you can't get her to walk out. It's turning. It would help if my hole is a little straighter but I think it's coming it wants to come on it's trying got some snap on needle pliers needle nose pliers it's coming There it is. Now you can see I didn't get it drilled very center, but you can see what I'm working with that angle. It's kind of hard to get it straight, but I could have drilled this hole a little bit deeper and then I could have put a snap on screw extractor, tap it in there and then you put a wrench on the extractor and turn this out. So that would have been my second step if the left-handed drill bit didn't bust it loose. Now I can put this support back in the feed, ex feed accelerator.
program. We've got the Milwaukee Fuel 3 8 90 degree impact, the snap on impact swivel. It's really handy for jobs where you got tight clearances like this one. I need the I also keep my service cart stocked with 3 8 and half inch drive impact swivels because I use them so much and it's nice to have a full set of tools in my cart that I don't have to unload and load my truck all the time when I'm coming and going in the shop. But I use these Mechanics Time Saver magnetic twist rails because I can just take this rail and just snap it right onto that shelf and it doesn't move. So I keep my most commonly used sockets on these twist rails. And then when I need them out of my truck, I just grab the whole rail, set it down on whatever I'm working on. And then when it's time to go to another call, I can just throw those rails right back into that shelf and off I go. So I'm gonna go over the different types and sizes of these impact swivels. So you see here we got a gear wrench X-Core impact swivel. You see there's four points of contact instead of this snap-on impact swivel it just has a pin so there's two points of contact in there. With my opinion these snap-on ones are stronger than the X-Core gear wrench but this socket is probably twice or three times more than this socket here and this one has a lifetime warranty on it and they're also a little bit they're about the same height actually but this socket is a little deeper than this one is okay so these are both six point impact swivels this is a snap-on 3 8 12 point so instead of a a hex it's got a 12 point so I use these on um, hose clamps and I also use them on small uh, drive shaft u-joint bolts that are 12 point heads on them and then you have a regular snap-on 3 8 impact socket and then this is a semi-deep so a little bit taller then you can get a deep one. So those are all 13. You got a shallow, semi-deep, and deep. And they all have different purposes. Obviously, I use this one probably the most. Um, here you have, this is a Matco ADV driveline socket. So this is half-inch 12-point. I use these on the, the U-joints on 9000 series. They got a 12-point head on the sockets. So that thing comes in handy, but for whatever reason, this is not very strong. Um, the Milwaukee High Torque really F's this one up pretty bad, so I usually have to get it replaced two, three times a year. Then we step up to a half inch drive, 13. So it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the 3 8 Not much, they're almost about the same size. And then we have three sockets here. They're all an inch and three sixteenths, um, which is pretty close to 30 millimeter. An inch and three sixteenths is what I use on 30 millimeter heads, but it fits it almost perfect. So um, this is a snap on one. Obviously it's got the pin. This is a Matco and it's a lot deeper, which I like this, but um, Matco's two pin does not last long at all. And when I put it on the high torque, and then here is a gear inch, inch and three sixteenths. So you really can see how shallow this is. So I can get this in a little tire clearance hole, but that is all um, the different ones that I have on my truck. I'm sure there's more out there, but I was just trying to show you guys the, the different styles and types 
of these impact swivels and I couldn't do my job without these. These things are just great. Hey guys, thanks for watching the channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed uh, the first part of tools I could not live without. Um, stay tuned because there's going to be a service truck walkthrough. Thanks for watching. I'm ZK Master Tech.